हेलो एवरीबॉडी वंस अगेन अ वेरी वॉम वेलकम नाउ इन टूडेज क्लास एज वी आर डिस्कसिंग रिगार्डिंग द चैप्टर माइक्रोब्स इन ह्यूमन वेलफेयर वी आर अबाउट टू कम्प्लीट दिस चैप्टर लास्ट टॉपिक विच इज लेफ्ट इन दिस चैप्टर इज माइक्रोब्स एज अ बायो फर्टिलाइजर टिल नाउ वी हैव लर्न दैट माइक्रोब्स दे एक्ट एज अ बायो कंट्रोल एजेंट इन एग्रीकल्चर बट येस दे डू प्ले अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट रोल फॉर द बायो फर्टिलाइजर्स लाइक फर्टिलाइजर्स और ऑल दीज न्यूट्रिय द इनऑर्गेनिक सब्सटांसिस विच वी नॉर्मली यूज लाइक विच इज प्रोड्यूस इन इंडस्ट्रीज वी कैन ऑल्सो यूज इज माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिजम एंड दीज माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिजम दे एनरिच द सॉइल क्वालिटी विदाउट affecting any kind of effect right nowadays people are moving towards organic farming so organic farming is all about what this is all about the nature it's all about the things which are already present in nature we should utilize them and we have to maintain a sustainable relationship between an organism and an environment right so this is what we are doing without harming any kind of uh, species present on this earth surface now we were talking about the microbes as bio fertilizer so microbes as bio control agent already discussed the last small topic which is left in this chapter is this one now these bio fertilizers they can be bacteria they can be uh, you can say uh, any other substances can also be there in this case the mycorrhiza are also there the actinomycetes is also also there which can act as a bio fertilizers so i'll be uh, talking about each of these uh, in detail now first of all let's talk about this bacteria as a bio fertilizer as bio fertilizer bacteria as bio fertilizer right now these bacteria they can be free living also they can be a symbiotic bacteria now first let's talk about here i am writing the free living bacteria right so as per the free living bacteria as are considered in this we have a example like azospirillum azospirillum right another example we have is the azotobacter azotobacter now what actually this free living bacteria do they help in the fixing fixation of atmospheric nitrogen and they have a capability of around fixing 10 to 25 kg of nitrogen per hectare they can fix this much amount of nitrogen right now this is one example that is a free living likewise we have certain other bacteria also which we all know that is a symbiotic nitrogen fixing bacteria so second symbiotic symbiotic that means they are living in association with certain plants symbiotic for the symbiotic association we have a very good example like rhizobium so rhizobium they live in association with the leguminous plants roots and they form root nodules over there and they help in fixing the atmospheric nitrogen and convert them into the ammonia uh, the whole process of nitrogen fixation yes i'll be dealing in subsequent chapters now this is symbiotic association one example we have is rhizobium right is it clear to you so rhizobium is there so what this rhizobium do they help in conversion of this atmospheric nitrogen help in conversion of atmospheric nitrogen into ammonia how do we write ammonia as nh3 right so symbiotic the association between the rhizobium and the roots of a leguminous plant so this is another example right so this was the first one example was free living and second is a symbiotic right second the third we have is nitrogen fixing actinomycetes <coughs> 
third here i am writing nitrogen fixing actino mycetes actino mycetes right in this case we have another example that is frankia example is frankia right and frankia they also live in association with the non leguminous plant non leguminous non leguminous plants right can you name uh, one or two of them in this one example we have is elder you can take one example like elder right so bacteria as biofertilizer so first is this one free living second is symbiotic example rhizobium and third we have is nitrogen fixing actinomycetes now this is a one thing which is a bacteria likewise we have other uh, you can say the cyanobacteria also which help in the nitrogen fixation let's talk about that so second cyano bacteria as bio fertilizer right cyanobacteria are also there in this case a very good example we have is anabena anabena and second example you can take a uh, nostoc so anabena also live in symbiotic association with uh, the azola so that is why the symbiotic association or uh, in bracket you can write down azola azola anabena symbiotic association right so cyanobacteria itself play a very important role in oceans in water bodies they help in the fixation of nitrogen right azola and anabena and overall when we talk about the fixation the nitrogen fixation per hectare per year that is also very high that is around 20 to 30 kg so it fix around 20 to 30 kg of nitrogen per hectare per year here also you should write per year right is it clear to you so first was the bacteria and second we have is a cyanobacteria let's talk about the third example the third example we have is a another very good example that is a mycorrhiza mycorrhiza as bio fertilizer so mycorrhiza is also a association now this is a association between a fungus and plants of higher plants so this is an association between fungus fungus and higher plants right and they basically helps in absorption of phosphorus absorption of phosphorus now this mycorrhiza association not only help in the nutrient enrichment or they do not only help in the transfer of the nutrient rather than they are also important for controlling the root pathogens so they also help in
controlling what root born pathogen right they also help in increasing the tolerance to salinity And other than that, the last but not the least, which we all know, they also uh, they, uh, this is also important for the overall growth and development. Growth and development. Okay. So we have discussed all the three type of microbes which are used as a bio fertilizer. all this right is it clear to you so in bacteria we have discussed the three type free living symbiotic and nitrogen fixi fixing actinomycetes cyanobacteria and the mycorrhiza as bio fertilizer so this was the small topic which was left in this chapter so hope this topic is also clear to you so with this we have completed your whole chapter so hope it is completed uh, like as it is completed from my side hope it is completed from your side also and uh, in the next session i'll be discussing cbsc pattern question exercise from this chapter we'll look that how what type of questions uh, can be asked from this chapter we will be going through that one num uh, one mark two marks three marks five marks like this all these different kind of question we will be discussing from past year examination so till then take care of yourself and one more thing whatever i have taught you in this session just revise it thoroughly uh, like before revising or before having any kind of concept clearing or like suppose your concepts are not clear then do not watch this cbse pattern question exercise that will be a totally waste of time for you so first of all focus on all these sessions prepare your own notes i know sometime it become difficult to remember all those things but this will not be only uh, you can say helpful for your only for the cbse examination also this is another very important question which can be asked in your neat also so simultaneously there are certain topics which plays a very important role for your cbse also and they are important for your neat examination also so that will be just one on one situation for you so take care of yourself meeting in the next one thank you so much students for watching this